This Sunday night football, we have a, a fantastic matchup between the Green Bay Packers going up against the Buffalo Bills. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your Sunday night football matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. But before I deep dive into this slate, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD. Don't forget about the TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about the Patreon if you want more DFS betting and fantasy football advice. All of those links will be provided down below. All right, the first thing we're going to get into before we get into the captain position, you already know, guys, we got to look at the injury report. This is a big, big matchup. And we have some key guys out now for the Green Bay Packers, a team that's been struggling, but they are still in the hunt. They are currently three and four, but they are going to be out. Um, their number one wide receiver in this offense, and that right there in the picture is Alan Lazard. All right, they're going to be leaning on some other guys, Romeo Dubs, Sammy Watkins, uh, Amari Rogers, all those guys going to need to step up. Maybe they get more to that running game. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what they do against this Buffalo Bills defense. All right. We got a question mark on Rashawn Gary. If he's going to clear concussion protocol, that's going to be a big hit on the defense. If he's out, um, questionable tag on Bakhtiari. He's most likely trending towards playing. Elsa Jenkins is knee. Christian Watson, we're going to wait on more news for him. They definitely need him at the wide receiver position with Alan Lazard out. And we have Sammy Watkins. He will play. Now, it says Gary, Lazard, Jenkins, and Bakhtiari all are starters for the Packers. Uh, Bakhtiari and Jenkins were limited on Friday. Gary was upgraded to full. Um, Watkins returned to action off IR last week. So we don't have that news about Watson. So we... We want to know about Watson. That's going to be a key injury there. Now, looking at the Buffalo Bills, uh, we have Spencer Brown starting O-lineman for the Bills. He's going to be out. That's a huge hit. Tawan Jones, he's a non-factor. Cam Lewis, he will play. Mitch Morse, he will play. Jay Kumaro, a former Green Bay Packer, he will play as well. All right, so let's get into these captains. The first captain we're going to be looking at in this slate, all right? We can go a lot of myriad of ways in this particular game. Is it going to be defensive? All right, we got Green Bay solid defense. We got Buffalo home, but we know Buffalo has a high power offense. Do they struggle um, in this particular game coming off the bye? We are going to see because this is a must win game for the Green Bay Packers. All right. Now, the first one we're going to choose, we're going to go with Josh Allen. Let's not be cute here. Even if we look at fantasy points allowed to that cornerback position, um, Across the board, both of these defenses are top tier, okay? Especially the Buffalo Bills. Green Bay Packers against tight end, they're elite. Uh, Buffalo Bills is not that far behind at 10th uh, against tight ends. If we're looking at quarterbacks, we're looking at all top five. Buffalo Bills is six. Green Bay Packers is three. If we're looking at running backs, um, the Buffalo Bills are four. The Green Bay Packers are just a tad a bit worse. This is where the weakness is, is going to rely is the Green Bay Packers run defense here. They're allowing 5.1 yards to carry, 122 rushing yards a game. All right. So that's one of the weaknesses on the Green Bay side. And that wide receiver, Buffalo Bills and Green Bay Packers are top 10. So we got to focus in on weaknesses. And like I said, I'm, we're going to start off with Josh Allen. I don't care about the matchup. The man is on a mission and he's putting up fantasy points. As you can see, all these games are over 30 fantasy points besides one against Baltimore. So this man is home. He tends to go off. I love Josh Allen in this game. Not only is he going to utilize his arm, he's going to be deadly in that rushing game. And he has the high potential to get a rushing touchdown as well, especially when they're in that red zone. Especially a team that is bad against the run. Josh Allen can definitely pick this team apart, especially at home. Again, going against the Green Bay Packers. So I love Josh Allen as our main captain play. Stephon Diggs. This might be a tough matchup for Stephon Diggs and that Green Bay Packers secondary. I don't see him going full off like he did against Kansas City or Pittsburgh. This might be more of a middling game with all the attention on Stephon Diggs. They're going to put their number one corner on Stephon Diggs. Jair Alexander is going to be all over him. And we might see a regular type of Stefan Diggs game like we saw in week four, 10 fantasy points or week three, 14 fantasy points, uh, something around that range. Right. I don't expect him to go fully off in this game. So definitely 
just be wary about that play. If, if, if one person is going to be affected on the Buffalo Bills team, I do think it will be Stefan Diggs. All right. But I do have to mention him as a uh, ca uh, a captain option. All right. Let's look out on the Green Bay side. Who can we look at um, as a captain? Aaron Rodgers can be taken as a captain. This is going to be a contrarian play because obviously he's played bad. But we see in majority's games, he has two touchdowns in each of these games. All right, he has zero in week one and one in week six. Other than that, he's been putting up solid numbers despite the fact that this offense has been struggling. So we got some injuries to wide receivers. I think Aaron Rodgers and this team is going to get very creative, utilize Rob Bob Tunyon, utilize his backs and A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, get them out in the passing lanes, create mismatches there, right? That, those are the ways you can win against this team because they're going to play a very um, vanilla zone defense, all right? So you got to find holes, pick parts especially work the outside Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers is someone that we can look at at that captain position at 9,800 all right one of the guys I did speak about that's going to be key in this game they're going to need to utilize him in the passing game is Aaron Jones Aaron Jones 8 for 23 last week but it was key that we saw the receiving work that we did nine of ten targets two touchdowns from Aaron Jones in the losing effort but I like the upside I saw from him there right they're gonna hit them with the one-two punch all right i understand buffalo's strength is stopping the run but over a full period of four quarters they got two big they got speed and they got a big bruise in aj Dillon. i think they're gonna be relentless in that game plan there so i have no problem going with aaron jones as an option this game is going to be very sneaky uh with a lot of more uh lineups leaning towards that buffalo bill side all right someone sneaky is going to be gabe davis since i don't think stefan diggs will have a huge game someone that can reap the benefits will be gabe davis all right we could see another blow up spot from him he he is going to be a volatile player but uh, as high powered as this offense is if stefan diggs is not stepping up the other guys will so we got gabe davis is going to be one of those guys we're going to look at that has the possibility of going off at that captain position all right another captain guy we're going to look at will be devin singletary i just showed you uh the key weakness to the green bay packers defense is rushing allowing 122 yards a game 5.1 yards carry devin singletary has been outstanding this year solidifying himself as the number one running back on this offense so at 7200 have no problem going to him um Definitely have nice stacks with Devin Singletary and Bills defense that correlates, and then you can uh, go from there. Definitely have to have Josh Allen; he's an absolute lock in each and every lineup because of the upside. So Singletary is a nice option at captain as well. All right, so let's move on to the flex plays. We're going to get into some of these Green Bay Packers. All right, let's get into it now. Going on to the flex plays, some of these guys have the opportunity to be captains in this lineup build because we're going to be paying up for expensive expensive guys so one of the key guys we can look towards especially we got a lot of injuries at the wide receiver position will be uh tight end robert tanyan here we remember this season a couple years ago where he had eight nine ten touchdowns it can happen yet again especially this wide receiver core it's going to be a little bit hampered tanyan has stepped up this year double digit fantasy points in week four an outstanding game in week six against the jets where he had 10 receptions 12 targets 90 yards didn't get an end zone but the upside is going to be there um especially with all the tension um so on stopping this run game and forcing aaron Rodgers um in some long uh yardage type of environment he's going to be checking that ball down to rob tanyan and his running back so i love him at six thousand dollars all right um oh let's clear this out we're going to put tanya in there as one of our main flex plays let's continue going down below the next player we're going to look at uh will be uh dawson knox all right another option here with i with my guessing that stefan Diggs will have a little bit of a poor game dawson knox has emerged finally he struggled at the beginning of the season um, and now in the last past two weeks, we're talking about nine targets, 77 yards and a touchdown from Dawson Knox. 
I think he's getting back to his uh, self that he we saw from the last season, and he's going to be a key factor in this game going up against the Green Bay Packers who struggle, who's struggling against the tight end position. All right, uh, another wide receiver we can look at could be Isaiah McKenzie getting a ton of targets. This is a very stout secondary in Green Bay. All right, going to keep things in front of him. Someone that can eat up is going to be a slot wide receiver, and that is Isaiah McKenzie. So he has the opportunity to get a ton of targets. He's already providing a lot of usage and targets in the first six weeks. We got five, six, and nine in this very high-powered offense. We need him to get in the end zone. He already has three touchdowns so far this year. So this definitely has the possibility of being a high upside play. I like Isaiah McKenzie, all right? Uh, another play right here, we have A.J. Dillon, all right? Not only do they have Aaron Jones, they have another A.J. and A.J. Dillon. Very poor so far this year. This needs to be the game he needs to emerge. There's there's no one on the field that is that type of size and speed combination. Obviously, Josh Allen on the Bills side, but on the Green Bay Packers side, A.J. Dillon is that freak. And this man can definitely be a game breaker. They're going to need to use, utilize his size and speed combination to help mitigate and create offense going against this Buffalo Bills defense. I like him at 4,200 as a sneaky play at the flex position, all right? Uh, next play we can look at will be Romeo Dubs. Romeo Dubs is now going to be the number one wide receiver in this offense with Alan Lazard out. We're waiting on news about Christian Watson, but uh, a lot of guys have dropped Romeo Dubs in fantasy leagues after this zero performance against Washington. I expect him to bounce back uh, from this game. He's had a ton of ups and downs so far in the preseason and in the regular season. And now with the injuries, they are forced to utilize Romeo Dubs. He's going to step up in this game. I like him at $4,000 in salary. Another sneaky wide receiver that we got will be Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins is coming back at the absolute perfect time when this team needs him the most. Um, when he has the opportunity to play, he does and create a big factor in the offense. So we saw a good game from him against Chicago. Solid work from him against Washington and Minnesota. They're going to need to utilize him. Um, and I think he's one of the sneakier plays here. Sammy Watkins at 3,900. If I'm choosing my favorite Packer wide receiver, I know this man is super, super injury prone. I hope if we do play him, it doesn't happen yet again. But we're going to have to take a risk. He has tons of upside. He has the potential to be a game breaker. I like him at 3,900. All right, let's clear this out. We still have more flex plays to talk about. We still didn't even go over the kickers and defenses. So in this particular game, I'm fine with going with both kickers and Tyler Bass and uh, Mason Crosby here. The key component is, are we going to choose the defenses? All right. Most likely, we're going to stay away from Packers defense, all right? It's, it's, it, it'll take a bold play, a bold play. And if that wins you, um, your number one overall seeding in the tournament, then fine by me. But that's going to be a scary play to have the Packers defense on the road going against this Bills offense at home. But I do feel comfortable playing a little bit of the Bills defense because they are a home team because I see the advantage there that they have with the running game. So I have no problem going with the Bills defense and going with both kickers. Let's see if we have some more cheap options down below um, Sammy Watkins. We have Amari Rogers here. He's going to be the number three wide receiver. Uh, let's double check on Christian Watson. Is there any other update right now? Rookie was limited participant. Wednesday through Friday. So wait on news if he is in or out. If he is in, I like Christian Watson over Amari Rogers. Okay. If we're choosing the pecking order, we'll probably go Sammy Watkins is number one. If Watson is healthy, the way that they're utilizing him with sweeps and creating, um, and he's going to be a deep factor. He could be a surprise play getting a deep ball down uh down the field against this bills defense taking the top off the defense christian watson will be number two number three will be uh romeo dobbs that's if christian watson is in the game right anyone below that james cook is someone to mention but he's going to be uh he's the running back two in this offense not getting that many snaps and other than that, that's how far I want to go. I believe that Christian Watson is going to play in this game. And that's how that's how cheap I want to go. We'll be 1,400 in Christian Watson. Just wait on news if he's going to be in or out right now. The mainstays for all of our lineups. 
Uh, we're going to start off with Josh Allen. I love him in this game. Number two is going to be Rob Bob Tunyon. I think he's going to step up pretty huge in this one. And give me Devin Singletary here. I like the advantage that they got going up against this poor run defense here. And Devin Singletary should have a big breakout game. We're going to focus on our lineups on these three guys and you're going to build around them and you have plenty of salary that make a nice lineup so thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure you follow me at instagram and twitter at message sd and i'll be back with another video very soon all right peace out guys